Okay, hello everybody. Thank you for clicking on this video. As you can see, I have one of my one minute sunflowers laying here. Um, if you go back, I did a video the other day and it was painting a sunflower in one minute. Now, in order to record that video, <laughs> I made ended up making like um, let's see, how many is here? One, two, three. Uh, let's see four actually ended up with four one minute sunflowers because i kept calling it a rose i kept grabbing the wrong color so i kept having to start over so i felt like i was wasting some of my watercolor paper i decided we would take these one minute sunflowers and create a different painting with them um let's see this first one i have this video done for you guys i'll be releasing it next it was creating this was the one minute sunflower and then we added some other stuff to turn it into a sunflower field. And then this one was the one minute sunflower. And I painted and added another sunflower and put it in a jar. And I have both of those um, recorded, but I gotta do the voiceover because I they were so loud in my home at the time. I decided a voiceover would be easier for those. But today we're gonna use this one. And I really don't even know what I want to do yet with it, you guys. Um like I said, I don't use refer reference photos a lot. I kind of just paint out of my imagination. So, we'll see where this goes. Um, if you look over here at the palette, I've got a lot of paint poured out. I've got a lot of colors. Because, like I said, I don't know what I want to do. We have a burnt sienna, a yellow ochre, a parchment um, white. This is from Apple Barrel. You can tell the difference. This is Arteza. This is Apple Barrel. Apple Barrel is the more fluid paint. Arteza is a little bit thicker. have a lemon yellow, admiral blue. Cad green, ivy green, naphthol red, titanium white, fox gray, and black. So, um, do I have my burnt sienna? Oh yeah, burnt sienna. Okay. So, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Let's just see where this goes. And I have a round brush. It is, um, a six round. And I have a five eight, um, and the camera is even, the camera is different. Everything, usually I'm on this side of the table over here, that end. I decided you couldn't hear me well, so I, brought, I just re, re, redid everything. And now I'm on this side where the camera's at. So we have a round, an angle, and the little script liner that I like to use. Okay, so we'll start with the round. Um, I don't think I want to do a field. I don't want to do another field. Let me see. Oh, let me get my towel here. Okay. Um, wet the brush a little bit. What do we want to do? Let's think. Let's do, let's go ahead and make a placement for another sunflower. Let's do that. We'll have it coming off of this one, like behind this one. Ahead and paint the center a little burnt sienna. Okay. And I have two jars of two jars of water. One when my paint's loaded, and another for cleaner water. I unload on this one, and then I give it a quick swish in this one to make sure all the paint's off. Okay. Um. Let's go into our yellow ochre. I'm hoping you guys can see this well. Oh, let's get some wire you pulled into this. And I put my tip, I start with I start with my tip toward the middle and I pull out like this. That's how I do it. Look. You can do it like that, or you do it however makes you comfortable. It's your flower, it's your art. I want you to have fun with it. So it's whatever you want to do. Whatever colors you want to use, whatever brushes you want to use, it's totally okay with me. Okay, and let that dry. Let's get a stem. Go ahead and get a stem drew in here. We'll go to our black for that. Just real quick, we're going to go over this. This is just the first layer, you guys. Remember, okay? Most of my paintings have five or six layers on them by the time it's over. Okay, we'll get a stem on there. Go ahead and pop a leaf on. Grab some of this ivy for that. 
And I'm going to go over this one, I believe. Hmm. I don't like that, but we'll fix that. We'll fix this. Good thing about acrylic is you can always redo. No matter how many mistakes you make, it can always be painted over. Okay. Let's doctor the one minute sunflower really quick, the bigger one. We'll wait on the smaller one to dry. Let's give this a little. I'm going to go in the middle with some black. Darken this up just a hair. Okay, that. I'm going to take a lighter color, a lighter yellow, maybe lemon yellow and some white, and go around these leaves. I mean, not leaves, petals. Grab some white. So it's not so, so the lemon yellow is very transparent. And a good way to stop that from happening is to grab some white and mix in with it. The more white you put in, the more opaque the yellow is going to become. Okay. That brightens it up a little bit. Might come into that black just a hair. Okay. And this may be another sunflower field. I'm not sure yet. I don't know. I'm still not sure where I'm going with it. Um, <clears throat> I think do I want to do? I think I'm going to do another one here. But it's not going to be as tall. I think we'll just see maybe half of the top. Like half. Like cut the top of the flower. Cut the flower part in half and we're going to see this part okay let's do that let's see how that looks let's grab some sienna and pop our center in real quick this is just the first layer remember okay and some yellow ochre to these petals Slide my water, you guys can't get to my okay. Yeah, I like that. That's cute. Okay, I'm probably gonna end up breaking my hair dryer out because I need this to dry quickly. I'm gonna go over, let's go over sunflower one here. Let's turn this green. Let's get this um leaf from that let's change the color of it since we have more time and stem there's the stem there we go put some down this way trying to make sure you guys can see as I'm doing this I think I'm gonna throw some green out this way also not much going on over here yet there we go yeah I like that okay so what do we want to do with the sky let's throw some gray into the sky real quick and just see how that looks let's gray this up some mm -hmm. And if you pull, like I just pulled some of that green because it was not completely dry, like I said, it's fine. We can just go over it. You can always paint over acrylic. It's not going to hurt anything. <laughs> and like I pulled some of the yellow um, in one of my one minute sunflowers I did it the other day. I pulled some of the yellow off the flower into the sky and I liked it. The yellow looked good. I mean, 
Never be, never be afraid to make a mistake. Never be afraid to make a mistake. I won't even call them mistakes. Never be afraid to try something different. Happy accidents. Remember that? Let's just say that's what they are. We make them work for us. Let the paint do its thing. Let it guide you. If that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense to everybody, but see how I just pulled some of that yellow because that wasn't dry yet. I'm gonna have to end up bringing my hair dryer out soon. The further we get into this, well, this video will be eight hours long. <laughs> Okay, get some gray. I'm trying to decide do I want to stick with let's lighten the gray up. Um let's lighten the gray up as we come down closer to the sunflowers. Let's um lighten it up some. And if you notice, I'm not even mixing my paint all the way. I'm barely giving it a twirl. You see that? See how I done that? I'm barely even mixing it. Mm. Yeah, I think we'll make this whole. I think we're gonna do a little negative painting here, and make all the sunflowers that we create against the sky instead of showing feel behind it. It'll be like they're up toward the sky. We're looking at them up from below. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I, see. I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right. Throw some gray over here. And the more water you have on your brush, the further you're going to be able to push that paint. Okay? The further it's going to go before it starts doing the little draggy thing that it does. So, I like how this looks. I'm liking this, this dark splotch over here. I like that. So I'm going to try not to mess this up the further we go into the painting. Just paint around everything. Put some up under here. Just remember it can be painted over do not stress it is just paint you guys it is just paint okay unless it is a commission piece it is nothing to worry about nothing to stress over okay and we're going to close see the white gap we're going to close that we're going to close that with some more on petal so don't worry about that we're going to go in over here. I think I'm going to switch to my strip liner to try to squeeze some gray in between these petals here. Offload a little bit. You don't want too much. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze between. A little negative painting, like I said, negative between and around everything. And I turn my brush as I go. I always turn my brush. And there's paint on all sides of your brush that you can utilize. So turn your brush as you're painting. Okay. I'm going to get in here a little bit more with some gray. There we go. Just let those leaves pop out. And turn the brush. Find more paint. And when you're doing a form of negative painting, actually it can be actually very useful like say i made this sunflower too big like the petals too fat just for instance it's just as an example and i'm like oh crap you know that doesn't look right so instead of going and doing each petal over again you could actually take your gray and edit your picture 
could you could um thin up your petals a little bit with it you understand what i'm saying you can edit your picture by painting around it by doing a little it's called negative painting it's, or it's a form this is a form of negative painting so all right so all right that's good enough for now you get caught up in details and we'll be here way too long all right <clears throat> let's move on to working a lighter color over this yellow ochre that we have over here on the second flower let's work on that so let's pull some yellow and let's try a little parchment white with it let's try a little bit of that and see what happens instead of white oh yeah i like that i do like that it toned down that yellow a lot gave it a more neutral not as bright uh, if we added white i like that that's pretty okay let that dry let's darken up this middle let's grab some black and i'm not gonna do the entire thing in black so i'm offloading i don't want a lot it's gonna kind of swirl around And don't stress if you get in on the petals. It's not a big deal. You can always paint over them. It is okay. All right. That darkened up. I'm trying to think. I feel like we need something here, but I don't know why. I don't want another sunflower. Let's work on this edge over here. Let's darken this up. Okay. That's very transparent to see right through it. So let's just do a few dabs of this that there we go much better okay let's pull some more leaf off of this one i'm going to my ivory i mean not my ivory i mean yeah my ivory green i'm sorry i was thinking ivory white and i'm going to pull some of this into this let's see what it is like and i'm going to kind of just Swiggle your brush around. I like how that turned out. Swiggle your brush. And I always have leaves that overlap petals. In all my flower paintings, you'll notice there are leaves. I didn't like that one leaf because it looked like it was too put together. It was too constructed. So, yeah, we're going to go over it. There we go. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, and I may even, I may even bring some green up above this over here <clears throat> let's see darken it up just a hair that's a little too dark not like that let's grab some of this there we go nope that's a little dark wow okay hold on we may end up having to go for the white oh wait i think we got it there we go okay Pull it up that way, like that. And darken that up for that side right here, like this. See, this is against the. It's coming up off this burnt sienna. Let's darken this just a hair. Okay. I'm going to work on the sky a little bit more. <clears throat> 